let's understand something about extinguishment of fire. Now fire is never good, right? I mean, unless and until it is being used in a controlled environment, if there is a fire that can be extremely destructive and we've seen this time and again, you know, see for example in Australia you keep on hearing that there was fire in the jungle because of which there was so much of damage and all these things happened. So if there is a fire which is undesirable then you've got to extinguish it. Extinguish it means blow it off. So this can be achieved through water okay or you can also have extinguishers normally called the fire extinguishers which can be used to extinguish fire now have you ever seen let's say you have a candle okay and the candle has a flame okay I mean candle is a small example but you can have many of these things when you sprinkle water over it you notice that the fire goes off okay and you have either some kind of smoke which comes up and there's a redness formed here now what happens when you drop fire on a candle? Basically what happens is that as this water falls on candle it goes and hits the flame okay because of the heat that the flame has this water evaporates so you sprinkle water okay with heat it evaporates okay so what happens then you basically and as heat evaporates the ignition temperature comes down and as I told you that all these things basically any kind of substance, let's say here you have wax. So any substance in order to burn has to have its ignition temperature. So once water falls on this thing, the ignition temperature comes down and it stops burning. So water is one of the most commonly used means of extinguishing fire. However, there's a word of caution. In certain cases, water is not used. What are these? This is because, let's say you have petrol. So you don't drop water on this. Why? Because water, let's say, suppose, you know, you had petrol here. So this portion represents petrol. If you sprinkle water, the water will go and settle at the bottom because water is basically lighter and it does not mix with petrol. So what will happen is it will go down and settle and the flame will keep on burning. It will not stop. Similarly, you don't drop water on electronic, electrical devices, I would say. Why? Let's say you had this wire. The moment you drop water on this, what will happen is that the current will pass through this water and go and hit the person who is throwing water. Why? because water conducts electricity so the moment you throw water here the electricity which was flowing in this wire is going to pass on through this water to the person who's throwing it and hit him very badly so this was the first category of extinguishing fire the second category is obviously the extinguishers okay now there are two kind of extinguishers one is the carbon dioxide the most commonly used one in this case what happens is that you know you have these fire extinguishers that you will see it's kind of a small cylinder 
and then there is a deep nozzle here. What happens is you sprinkle carbon dioxide from here on the water, sorry not on the water, on the fire, right? Let's say this is the fire. So what happens is as you throw carbon dioxide on this flame, this carbon dioxide cuts off oxygen supply. Okay, And once the supply of oxygen is cut off, we know that for combustion it is necessary that you have to have the support of the oxygen or air. Once this is cut off, this fire will go off. And the second one which you have is a soda acid extinguisher. So this basically contains solutions of sodium hydrogen carbonate okay so what happens is the moment this is put on on a burning object it creates carbon dioxide which again kills the supply of oxygen and therefore extinguishes fire 